what's up guys how are you today welcome to our new video uh, this is Sensei Bong so today we're going to teach you how to press your design or logo to your shirt or hoodie so we're going to use our silhouette studio and also the cameo um, so don't go away stay tuned So here we are guys in our Silly Studio software. So first things first, we're gonna look for a design or a logo that you wanted to press on your shirt. So I already downloaded a bunch of stuff here, so we're gonna use this one. This is only for a personal use or an example for this tutorial. You cannot do this and resell them or else you're gonna get in big trouble so first uh, import your uh, design and after that uh, check the size that you wanted so we have a 12 by 12 here so that's good for me you can change you can change that you can adjust that but for me I'm going to go with this size for our machine we're gonna use the Camille 3 and after you have uh, set up this uh, in order for us to cut the white background here as you see there's a white background here we need to trace it and remove the background so how do we do that first you need to go to the trace icon here and select the trace area then after that you need to highlight this boom then after that you have to trace style all you have to do is press this icon trace then after that drag drag this thing so that red line is the outline for your our is your cut lines so these are your cut lines so should be good then after that you highlight it and if we're going to press it on our shirt it should be mirrored so we can just press that just like that um, in order to mirror it you need to highlight first the design and then you click the object go to mirror and flip horizontally so as you can see it flip horizontally and then it should be good um, what else do we need? Uh, you can send it just like that and then for the material have lots of material here but we're gonna use since we're going to do a heat transfer and it's smooth there's lots of heat transfer here we're gonna choose the smooth action is cut tool we're gonna use auto blade and also we're gonna adjust this dial here to one because our our blade is pretty sharp and it's gonna cut my mat so force is four speed is eight should, that should be good uh, and then I want you can also define this uh, I mean save it So that every time you choose this material it's gonna be on that settings that you wanted so that's everything guys for our silhouette studio and then all you have to do is press sand right now so here we are guys so we got the mat that we're going to use and then the heat transfer that we're going to use this heat transfer is uh, it's pretty thick so the glossy side should be facing downward on your mat because we're gonna cut here on this area the mat side for the glossy it should be facing on our mat the sticky mat or else uh, you're gonna be on a big problem if you do it uh, upside down okay so we're gonna put this on our mat first so one of the trick of putting this uh, 
is you need to roll it like this and then after that go all the way down I'm using it on my, with my one hand there you go and then after that you need to lay it flat so as you can see a glossy is facing downwards on your mat then we need to scrape it remove all the bubbles make sure it's even and flat then we're good to go so as you can see it's all good right now so we're gonna put it in a Camille tree so we just finished the other job so we're gonna put it here here on this edge here and then another edge here we're gonna put it like this just like that and then we're gonna press the load Okay, let's see if we can do that using our one hand and then press the load button here there you go and then after that we're gonna go we're gonna send it into our computer after we send it's gonna do something like that So it's working right now. So here's our computer. We're gonna do a uh, design, something like that. Yes, I have a pink silhouette studio. <laughs> I, I got it from, I bought it from Marketplace. Not bad, eh? I also got a, a cry cut too. Actually, I also got a rose gold cracker, <laughs> but it doesn't matter as long as you do the job, right? So let's guess. Let's just gonna wait for it. So while we're waiting, we're gonna um, prepare our heat press right now. We're gonna. If you're only starting out, I only I bought this on Amazon for 300 bucks. It comes with this thing. It's a better sub, um, and also it comes with a mug press. The mug press is right there, and also it comes with the with the uh, cup press also. So for the settings, we're gonna use uh, 360, 380, I mean, 380. Just press the up button here to adjust the, the, the temp, and then press OK if you get the desired temperature, and then it's only for uh, 15 seconds then ok P3 is for Fahrenheit or Celsius and then P4 is if you want to add more heat it, on your plate so we're gonna wait for that to warm up so as you can see it's all done you need to unload this stuff and here is the cut let me show it to you guys oopsie there's the cut it's pretty clean and perfect perfecto then after that we need to remove or uh, they say weed weed is out and then prepare it Okay, just stay tuned. Okay, so after you, you use your mat, you need to put this back so that you can protect your mat. Always bring this one back. Oh, 
Oh well, guys, so this is the sweater that we we're gonna press that uh, logo. So what I'm doing is uh, I fold it into a half so that I can see the center of the sweater. So uh, rule of thumb, it's always four or three inches for adults. So the your design should go here. You can preheat your sweater for only a couple of seconds to remove all the moisture from it. Should be good. Just to remove all the moisture. Okay guys, so the logo should be look like this on a shirt. Again. This is only for the example for this video. You cannot do this and then sell them online or anything. This is just an example for this video. So just put a little heat resistant tape here so that it won't move when we put it in our heat press so as you can see it's already on uh, 380 degrees right now so I think it's good to go so we're just gonna put it here on our heat press just bear with me so here it is on our heat press all set up we're just gonna put the uh, what do you call this one? Butcher paper. And then after that, we're gonna press it for 15 seconds. And then please press enter here. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Put it up. Then, one thing you can do is swipe it. Then take it off. Then after that, you can peel it right away. Doesn't matter. Look at that thing. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and then for additional, just for the safe side, and, and it, just gonna press it for another uh, five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then that's it. And then wipe it again so wipe it with a towel and then this is our finished product guys pretty clean pretty neat look at that perfect guys so here's the square that you pressed feels good <laughs> feels clean and neat so I hope guys you like the video so please subscribe and hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click the notification bell Sensei Bong here signing out